point out one other thing. This was packed really well when it arrived, so the customer said he got it from another guy, and um, he had all these issues when he got it, but it was shipped to him, so I noticed the fan assembly's cracked right here, broken. This was pushed in a little bit, so I'll replace the fan also. But, so, and one other thing, the customer already knew about this, but with the air variable capacitor, there was damage done here to the edge. Doesn't look like it's been arcing, so. Um, I do have a couple replacements, which are not for sale, but if I run into any issues with voltage breakdown, I'll have to get swapped. But first things first, let's check that out. And the uh, plate current meter is okay. I always check that too. So see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the Kenwood TL9 22A. I'm over my cold. Sorry for the delay on this, but I had to wait for the parts from Harbach. He was closed for the holidays. He finally sent him out, got him. Jeff's a nice guy over there. Um, so, so uh, on the old kit, it was upside down, wired correctly, but uh, half of the diodes were shorted. There's a diode across each cap there to protect the capacitors in case you have a failure on the rectifier board with diodes shorted in case AC gets pumped into them. So I don't know the history these uh, I don't know what caused like yeah I, I don't know if he had any caps wired properly at any point so instead of removing you know I already removed all the diodes but in, you know to clean up all the holes and take a chance with the electrolytics you know I just ended up I told the customer I said look I don't want to take a chance you know if one of these caps ends up failing plus all the extra labor to you know, it's a double-sided board to clean up all the holes and put new diodes. I said, just let's just get a whole new kit. So I got an old kit, and come to find out, uh, one string. You know, they use a full wave doubler in these amplifiers for the plate supply. So one of the strings for half the doubler is uh, shorted. So I'm gonna have to pull that board out and replace it. I have another board with uh, new components on it. So I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna put together the Harbach kit, install that, get this to fire up, and then go on from there. I need to change the band switch, do all the modifications. This thing needs a lot of work. I'll change the whole assembly back here. This one's pushed in. I have a replacement with another fan. So uh, this is getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company, awesome customer service. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, so I have the old board removed. The other one's over there. So I'm going to get back to work. See you guys soon. Okay, the amp's all set. I'm going to show the amp working here in this video. Since it needed so much work, customer asked to see it working on 40 meters. Normally, I send a video directly to the customer of it in operation. And then the repair video gets posted here on YouTube. So I have it on SSB, which is the higher voltage. It's already tuned up, all ready to go. 2500 watt slug, PEP kit is on. Radio is set to roughly 64 watts. Wire for 120. Go ahead and key the radio. Hello, 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 hello. Audio, hello. Shh, shh, shh. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. And it's working as it should. Audio. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, the frequency. I'll be back once it cools off and I'll show you the inside and everything I did. Okay, so I'm back. I'll go over everything I did real quick. Actually, it may not be really quick. It needed a lot of stuff. So. Put the new filter cap board assembly in. Like I've said, I've worked on about a thousand of these. I've said this before. Uh, they used really good caps. So out of all the amps I've worked on, I think this is like the third or fourth I've had to actually put this kit in. So if the caps are good, leave it alone. 
Uh, I don't know what the story was, but as I said before, someone put them in backwards and diodes were shorted, the protection diodes on half of them. Diodes were shorted on one string of the, the rectifier board. So rectifier board's been changed, whole new assembly, I cleaned everything up, zip tied all the wiring real nice. Touched up on solder joints, put the series glitch resistor in, put the meter protection diode in, secured everything really well. I checked the air variable caps, like I said before. I didn't have any arcing when I went to test it. Tested full output on all bands. So uh, all the bands on the bands, which I always test at 160, 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10. I don't try to use it on any of the, the other bands, so it's not advisable. So... No issues there, left that alone. Got a brand new set of Pentalabs tubes. Put the strap over here. Replace this assembly back here. Had an extra one, it was all bent up. I was able to transfer his uh, serial number plate from his over to the, from this old one over to the new one. Someone just texted me. So, also replaced the fan with the stock one. It's important to use the proper fan because uh, if you don't, you have to change the resistors on the delay off circuit. The uh, delay uh, time would be different if you don't use the, the same uh, type of fan with the same ratings. So keep in mind to take note of that. So that's all set. And uh, that's about it for the top. You guys, uh, Good look at it. So, looks like at some point you had the wrong screws in here. Uh, you're supposed to have like countersunk head screws, and you can see it did not at one point. So, the screw heads actually pushed out on the cover, bottomed out. So, I cut down some screws and I'll put the right screws back in. This side uses regular head screws and then this side has like countersunk screws so as you can see in the material here see that reverse that so okay so I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom be right back okay, so replace the Zener diode put a brand new one in new thermal grease it's important to put new thermal grease behind the Zener and also the mica insulator so the heat's transferred well. There's no reason to swap it over to a string of diodes. This works just fine. Put a new diode between the zener and ground. Cleaned up on some wiring over here. Zip tied it. Put a new electrolytic in over here. Place the B positive wire with a nice flexible 40 kilovolt rated wire. I have a little spool of it. I had to replace the SO239 on the output side. There was like, there wasn't enough grip. So you don't want to mess around with the output side so you never want it open that's like really bad that's an amp killer for solid state or tube amps did the self bias modification grounded the grids right to the chassis cleaned up on some solder joints replaced the the output rotary switch I always clean the new rotary switch with deoxid gold they put this stuff on the contacts to help stop the uh, silver from tarnishing but that stuff if uh, dust and stuff will stick to it so always clean it really well with deoxid gold after I install it, uh, clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold. Someone already had done the 10 meter modification. So that's about it for the bottom. I also had to clean the, I always clean the contacts, but the contacts weren't making a good connection on receive, so I cleaned them really well. Now it is good. So also, this tab broke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna epoxy that right now. This one's cracked, I'll epoxy that. That happens sometimes, so. This was shipped, this customer bought it used from someone else, and it was packed well when it came here, but you know, a lot of times people don't know the whole packing procedure when they buy something, so most likely it was damaged when he had it shipped to him. So, also added the strap over here, and that's about it. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. This is my favorite amp. Take this over any amp you can buy from any store nowadays. This is an awesome amp. It's an awesome amp. 
So, thanks for watching, and keep them coming. 73.